Most GPS dog collars focus on flashy features, right? But if the boundary detection is inaccurate, none of that really matters. We ran control tests comparing Spot On and the PetSafe Guardian 2.0 to see which one actually alerts your dog before they reach the edge, not just, you know, eventually. We'll talk about things like pricing later, but there's a discount link in the description if you wanna check it out early. These links do support the channel at no extra cost to you. But for now, let's get into the details. Spot On GPS Fence. Spot On represents what happens when a company prioritizes accuracy above everything else. You set boundaries by walking the perimeter with the collar, so there's no guesswork, no app-based drawing that might be a little bit off, although that is an option if you're in a hurry. The collar uses multiple satellite systems and it's been engineered specifically for precise boundary detection. PetSafe has been in the pet containment business for decades, and the Guardian 2.0 represents their latest attempt to crack the GPS collar market. On paper, it looks really promising. Compact design, established brand credibility, and an aggressive price point that undercuts most of its competitors. But here's what really matters. How do these collars perform when your dog's safety's on the line? We conducted rigorous boundary testing under dense tree cover, the most challenging GPS conditions that you can encounter. We set up a rope boundary and we approached it five times with each collar, measuring exactly where boundary feedback was delivered. I'll cut right to the chase. Spot on GPS fence results. 0% failure rate across all tests. Perfect boundary detection every single time. Tight, consistent feedback zones with minimal variation. All three feedback stages, alert, warning, and correction delivered in distinct, predictable locations. Let me repeat that, zero failures. Perfect performance when it matters the most. PetSafe Guardian 2.0 results. 40% critical failure rate, failed to provide any boundary feedback within 30 feet of the programmed boundary in two out of five of the tests. When it worked, feedback was tight and consistent, but when it worked really isn't good enough when your dog's life is at stake. The data is honestly devastating for PetSafe. A 40% failure rate means that two out of every five times your dog approaches a boundary, they get no warning at all, no alert, no correction, nothing. They just walk through the invisible fence like it doesn't exist. This is where other reviewers get it wrong. They spend a lot of time comparing app interfaces, battery life, and subscription costs. But really, none of that matters if the fundamental job, accurate boundary detection, fails 40% of the time. The Spot On's perfect accuracy record isn't just impressive, it's really the baseline standard that every GPS caller should meet. Because when safety is at stake, anything less than perfect is really unacceptable. Here's another critical difference that impacts real-world accuracy, boundary creation methodology. With Spot On, you walk the exact boundary that you want with the collar in hand. So the GPS tracks your path and it creates a precise boundary based on actual satellite data from that specific location. So what you walk is what you get. With PetSafe Guardian 2.0, you draw boundaries on a map in the app. You zoom in as far as the interface allows and drop pins where you think the boundary should be. Then you test it, discover it's wrong, adjust it, test it again, and repeat until you get close to where you want it to be. This isn't just a convenience issue, it's actually an accuracy issue. The spot on eliminates the guesswork that can lead to boundaries being set in wrong locations. With PetSafe, you're introducing human error into the boundary setting process before the GPS accuracy issues even come into play. So let's talk about what these failure rates mean in practice. With the spot on, you can set a boundary with complete confidence. Every time your dog approaches that line, they will get predictable, reliable feedback. You can trust the system completely. With the PetSafe Guardian 2.0, you're essentially gambling with your dog's safety. Sure, it might work three out of five times, great, but what happens during those two failures? Your dog crosses into traffic with no warning? They wander into dangerous territory with no correction at all? Not sure that's worth it. A GPS collar that fails 40% of the time isn't a safety device, it's a false sense of security. Since this is a full review, let's talk about the secondary features, but keep in mind, like I said, None of them matter at all if the collar doesn't work when it counts. 
Spot-On's app is designed for clarity and reliability with built-in guides, live training sessions, and responsive customer support that actually helps. The PetSafe Guardian 2.0 app is fine in a basic sense, but kind of limited in precision and light on guidance. You can tell which one was built around performance and which one was added on later. Battery life? Honestly, it's a distraction. Spot-On gives you dependable battery performance and reliable charging. PetSafe's numbers look typical on paper, but again, what's the point of squeezing out another day of charge if the collar doesn't consistently do its job? Really, safety should never be compromised for the sake of convenience. And that brings us to the value conversation. Yes, the PetSafe Guardian 2.0 is cheaper up front, but what are you really saving if the collar only works some of the time? A GPS fence isn't a tech toy, it's a safety tool. When the stakes are this high, paying less for failure is a poor trade-off. If you already know your decision, we've linked both collars below so you can dig a little bit deeper yourself. We'll break down more details in a moment, but let's be honest, by now, the difference is crystal clear. After extensive professional testing, the recommendation is clear and unambiguous. Choose spot-on GPS fence if you want a GPS collar that actually works when your dog's safety depends on it. Perfect accuracy, reliable boundary detection, and zero compromises on the fundamental job that these devices are designed to do. Avoid PetSafe Guardian 2.0 based on our testing results. I mean, really, a 40% critical failure rate makes it unsuitable for protecting dogs in any situation where accuracy matters. The lower price point doesn't justify the significant safety risks. Your dog deserves better than a coin flip when approaching danger. They deserve the certainty of perfect accuracy. And if this data-driven approach to GPS collar testing was helpful to you, be sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. We are committed to cutting through the marketing noise and to giving you the real performance data that you need to make informed decisions about your dog's safety because you know, when accuracy is everything, only perfect performance is acceptable.